All right, everyone. The question says, what is the frequency of radiation whose wavelength is 0 0.86 nanometers? So the problem gives us our wavelength and it is 0 0.86 nanometers. So wavelength equals 0 0.86. We want frequency because it's asking for that in the problem. So looking for frequency. We're gonna use this equation over here where the speed of light, which is C, is equal to wavelength times frequency. So we need the speed of light and that is a constant. So we know that value. The speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So we have two of the three variables and we can solve for the one we do not know. Let's manipulate our equation. We want frequency, so we need to get it by itself. So if we divide both sides of this equation by wavelength, wavelength will cancel out on the right side and we can rewrite our equation. I'm going to flip it so that frequency is on the left and we're left with frequency equals the speed of light divided by wavelength. So let's start plugging in our values so we can solve. So frequency equals the speed of light is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by wavelength, which we have as 0 0.86 nanometers. Now, the speed of light has the units of meters per second. So if we divide by nanometers, our unit of length is not going to cancel out like we want. So we need to turn nanometers to meters. So we need to take our 0 0.86 nanometers, which is our wavelength, and we want to convert that by multiplying by our conversion factor to have meters so that it cancels out in our equation. So we're starting with nanometers, so nanometers will go on the bottom of our conversion factor. We want meters, so it will go on top. Now I need to know the relationship between meters and nanometers. Well, one meter equals 10 to the ninth or one billion nanometers. So I'll input those in my conversion factor, one meter on top. 10 to the ninth nanometers on the bottom. Looking at my units, nanometers will cancel out because it's on top and bottom, and I will be left with what I want, which is meters. So if we do the math here, you're gonna do 0.86 times the top of the fraction divided by the bottom. The top of the fraction is just one, so it won't actually change the math, so we'll just do 0.86 divided by 10 to the ninth, and for scientific notation, we would get 8.6 times 10 to the negative 10 meters. So that is the wavelength that we will want to put into our equation. So over here, 8.6 times 10 to the negative 10th meters. So we have our values in our equation. Looking at our units, we have meters on top, meters on bottom, so they will cancel out and we will be left with per second. Essentially, that means that seconds is on the bottom of this. So you could write that as also seconds to the negative one power, or what is probably more likely for this problem, we talk about frequency in hertz. So we will use that for our units for our answer. So let's do the math. You're going to punch in your calculator. 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, and we're going to divide by everything in the denominator. Now, since we have scientific notation in our denominator, we have 8.6 times 10 to the negative 10th, we need to make sure that all stays together. So there's a couple ways to do this. One way is to use parentheses. So we're gonna open parentheses and then put 8.6 times 10 to the negative 10th, and then close parentheses, hit equals, and you should have 3.488 times 10 to the 17th. Let's round that to two significant figures, and we get that our frequency is 3.5 times 10 
to the 17th and our units are Hertz. Make sure that you have 3.5 times 10 to the power of 17 because if you have a different power of 10 there, your calculator probably did the order of operations in a different way, which would be incorrect. So make sure you have that same power. Okay, so final answer. What is the frequency of radiation whose wavelength is 0 0.86 nanometers? That would be 3.5 times 10 to the 17th hertz. All right, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.